another product here from Boundless Voyage Outdoors. This is the Titanium Pot with Cook Stove. Been looking forward to getting this. I'm really curious how this is going to work with uh, their existing Titanium Mist Kit and uh, some of the other canteen sets that are out there. So let's open this up. Take a look at it. Comes in the standard mesh stuff sack that I am sure everybody is familiar with. Pretty basic setup. Got the same type of lid. One of the big differences is here this has got a bale on it, and it's got butterfly handles. And then it comes with this, and this is the stove stand. This is what I was really interested in, in taking a look at and checking out. And the whole system just nests together. Fold the handles in. Slide it in there. It's a nice, solid fit. And then the bale, bale just goes off to the side. One thing I have noticed with this, I have already opened this up and played around with it, is this bale makes it a little bit more challenging to get inside of the stuff sack it comes with. And then we'll check this in some uh, carry bags, canteen carry bags I have as well. So one thing I do like about this, the bale handle, there is these two little nubs there on both sides. So it allows the bale to stand up on its own. That's nice. And there's also on the inside, stamped on the inside, is a 200 and 400 milliliter markings there. They're stamped in there. They're a little difficult to see off on the side here. Other than that, it's pretty much a standard titanium cup. It's nice that they've, uh, they've rolled the lip over on the side so there's no sharp edges here. And the stand works like this. Set the stand up and just put the pot on it like that. Very simple. Sits in there nice. It's a little recessed in there. One thing that I noticed, and I'll have to compare this to the Pathfinder set, the Pathfinder stove. So let me grab that real quick. The way the cup sits on here, it goes in, there's a little lowered area there, and it sits in there, and it does not allow for any of the heat, if you're burning this, to escape around the side of the canteen cup. So for example, if we look at the, the Pathfinder stove here, the Pathfinder has holes all along the top. Plus, it's got these little raised sections that hold the canteen cup higher up off of the cook stand. So that allows heat to escape right along the side of the cup. And that's on the Pathfinder. So on the Boundless Voyage, we don't have that. And one of my concerns, I haven't taken this out yet and tried it, is that when you have the handles out, the handles are right next to three of the exhaust ports, and there's three on the back there. And because the handles are so short, I'm concerned that you're going to get a lot of heat up there, and these handles are going to get really hot. Um, I'm also uh, very curious to see how well this works because it's all closed off and because you won't get that heat flow, is how efficiently this will burn and how much heat will actually transfer up to the pot itself. The stand is nice. Um, it's, it's kind of a, there's more of a sharper edge here around the side. It is titanium, but it is pretty thin titanium. You can see it's really flexible. But uh, it's, a, it's a nice little setup. It's got little cutouts here, of course, for the handles and also where you put in the, the wood. And then it's got cutouts on the side and these cutouts meet where the the bale mounts are plus they're also going to help for, for airflow along the sides of the stove um, but other than that other than these two ports and the main inlet port there's no other way for stove for air to get in 
and the only places it can go out are the three holes here where the handle would be and the three holes on the back. So and if you compare it to the Pathfinder stove here, you can see that the feed port is, there is no air inlets there, but on the back you have these very large inlets that are about halfway down, which kind of give you a, a good spacing to where your fire is in the top of the stove, where here it's only at the very top. So let's take a look at this and see how everything fits together with some of our favorite canteens that are on the market. Go ahead and put this back in, and we'll start with uh, we'll start with one of my favorites here. Of course, this is the Nalgene Oasis. That fits in there perfectly. I would always expect that to work. We've been talking about the Pathfinder one, so let's take a look at the Pathfinder canteen. A lot of people like this because it has a larger capacity and that fits in there nice as well. A little bit snug but it does fit. And then the last one is we'll try the Keith Titanium same as the heavy cover and that fits in there as well. Uh, another snug fit but it does work with that setup. So what about the stove with a different canteen cup set? So if we wanted to use it with the Keith cup, it does nest on there, it does fit. So you could use this. And the question is then will the Keith cup set on this? have it the right way then it does it fits on it really nicely um, it's no well, maybe maybe I'm wrong here so it seems that the base of this is just a little too wide so it would be kind of precarious getting that to, to sit on there effectively all right go to the old standby here, the Pathfinder setup. And the big trick with the Pathfinder is whether or not this handle will actually fit around there and latch. And oh it just it just barely does it. And it it yeah it gets to this point and it's not gonna go around that. So that's a no-go with the Pathfinder cup. And then the last thing I want to try out here is the actual Boundless Voyage Canteen cup and pot. One nice thing about this setup, you'll see it's got the identical, the identical lid. So we can easily interchange these lids if we wanted to. So if I would want to use this with the stove, that is not going to work. And the main reason is these handles just stick out a little too much. And I think even if I could get the handles in there, I'm going to run into a problem right here with where you can attach the bale wire. That's, that's not going to work either. So this is a this is a really interesting set. I, I really like this. I like this a lot with the bale on it. Um, I'm not I'm not really convinced that this is going to work very well. I do need to get this out and actually try it out, um, see how it works. But the cups, you know, and I almost forgot this. Let's try the Pathfinder cup on this. Um, the Pathfinder cup would sit on there nice and sturdy um, there's plenty of plenty of room for it to move around a little bit but there's no gaps with it or anything and it doesn't have that that tipping issue that I was seeing with the heavy covered canteen cup so it, this would work unfortunately this base will not work with the Pathfinder cup chances are if you have the Pathfinder cup 
you probably have the Pathfinder stove. You can see this one. I've used this one a lot. I, I really like this setup. Um, and of course this all fits together just perfectly. I wish I could get this in titanium. So there's a quick review of this. Um, I'll get it out and I'll, I'll try it out. I want to definitely want to test how well this stove base is going to work. Like I said, I've got some concerns with it. We'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm just not sure if the heat transfer is going to be uh, efficient when it comes to uh, boiling water or cooking up something when out on the trail. But it is a nice, uh, nice little setup. It's, it's what I've come to expect from uh, the people at Boundless Voyage. I think they're they're doing a good job here. I uh, I think it's uh, either of these products are good products. Um, if I had to pick one, I would pick the mess kit uh, just because it offers a lot more flexibility uh, when it comes to having something like this. Um, one other thing that I can test here while I've got it is let's say I'm going to use the key setup here and I wanted to also carry this stove kit and it's it does not fit down over the top um, and I'll have the same the same issue here if you look at the Pathfinder one the Pathfinder because of its its capacity is just too wide to do that kind of nesting. Um, I've tried it also with the the little mess kit here and you run into the exact same problem. That does work though with the key. If you do the mess kit setup gives you an extra two containers. But uh, unfortunately this setup is it's just a little bit tighter. Um, so I'm sure you could do this if your if your pack would hold it or whatever carry container you have. Um, I did mention the issue here with this bale kind of getting in the way. So let's take a look at my uh, essential kit bag, which is my favorite canteen carrying backpack. And that bale handle just boy, that thing just gets in the way. Um, it's great to have it. Um, it is not easily removable. You can see in here, it's it's kind of hooked on there, so there's no easy way to slide it off. Even if I flip it around to the front, I run into the, the same situation. It will fit in there with the handle up. So if I were to put in, let's say my Oasis, put this in, but boy, it's just, it's a little bit tight fit. And that's going to be because of that bail handle. Uh, it sticks out, sticks out on the sides just a little bit, and then this whole the whole bail itself just can get in the way. The other container I have here, of course, is the Pathfinder one, or the other bag. And in the Pathfinder one, let's go ahead and throw that in there. Pathfinder one is a little bit larger, and it does fit in there. Easy to get in there and easy to get out. So the thing to remember with this is that because of this bale, if you already have a kit bag that's kind of tight on your canteen, this probably will not work for you. But it is a nice canteen cup. One other bag I use for my canteen cook sets is this Helicontex E and E pouch? So we'll go ahead and see how it fits in there. And it actually fits in there pretty good. I've got my nail wire in there. Fits in this pretty good. So this is kind of a nice setup, and it comes out nice and easy as well. This is just a very versatile, versatile bag to have. I really like these. Uh, the context products so I do like it I think it has some options I need to do some more testing on it to see how it handles the heat um, it is a little challenging to work with in 
uh, one of the bags that I have for storage. This bag found that if you get started around the bale, it's not too bad. But you're always going to have to deal with the fact that there's this this bale. It's kind of hard to show on camera here, but you can see how it's jetting out here on the side, pushing the mesh out. Um, the mesh bag will work. It's uh, Like I said, it's a nice little piece of kit. Um, I'm going to go out and test it out and check out how it works for boiling water or for cooking um, with my concerns I have about the, the stove sand. You'll just have to wait and see. If you have any questions or comments about this setup, you want me to test it with anything, I know when I reviewed uh, this set, I got a lot of comments and people I've seen questions about things. If I forgot anything that you want to know about, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I have several different canteen cups and canteen bottles uh, that we can we can all check out and uh, I can test them in a variety of these products. So just let me know. So remember to like this video if you like the, the information that I shared with you guys and uh, subscribe to my channel and that way you can get notified when I do further testing on these and get these out in the field. Thanks for watching.